Okay, uh, trying to uh, work our way through this problem set that uh, you can uh, download at mathcoverage.com. You just go to calculus and uh, click on uh, solving limits athletically. And if you want to get the uh, notes on how this stuff's worked out, you can uh, pay $1 and download those notes. $1, woohoo. Okay, so let's, uh, let's, let's work on this here. Um, if I plug negative 1 in the bottom, uh, we end up getting 0. Okay, so uh, what we want to probably do is try to uh, factor this. And what we're going to uh, get is we're going to rewrite the limit as x approaches negative 1. And so we factor the top. And we can factor this as uh, 2x minus 3 and x plus 1. And that's all over x plus 1. So as you can see, uh, if we plugged a negative 1 in the top, we would also get 0. And you'd get 0 over 0, which means that we need to factor the top if we can. Now, because these cancel out, I'm going to rewrite this limit. Of 2x minus 3. And then we just do direct substitution, plugging negative 1 in, and you end up with negative 5. All right. Number 18. This is one that you're more likely to see on a test. So if I take 0 and I plug it in, I get 0 on the bottom, and that uh, means that uh, either the limit doesn't exist, or maybe the limit does exist, and we need to manipulate this thing in such a manner so that uh, we can see if uh, the limit uh, happens to be a real number. Now, you have to be uh, careful here. There's something you need to look at, and I want to just show you number 18. You notice this says the square root of 3 here, and this one shows the square root of x. And so you need to be uh, really careful. A lot of students, uh, what they're going to want to do is they're going to want to multiply the top by its conjugate. And uh, that is, um, if I take the top of this thing and I uh, multiply by the uh, square root, of uh, x plus 5 and then throw a plus sign out here the square root of x over and I'm going to rewrite the same thing in the bottom x plus 5 plus the square root of x and then to uh, multiply the top out and uh, and we're going to end up with the limit as x approaches 0 and so when I fold the top, I'm going to end up with an x plus 5 minus x. And that's going to be all over x, and then in parentheses, x plus 5 plus the square root of x. Uh, and uh, the x's cancel out, and so we're left with a 5 on top. But uh, we still have this x down here in the bottom. Close parentheses there. And if we plug 0 in the bottom, we still end up with 0 in the bottom. And so this thing is still 5 over 0, which means that the limit does not exist. Now, as we work through 19 here, we're going to do the exact same thing. And you're going to find out that this is going to end up uh, becoming a little bit different. And so if I multiply the top by uh, its conjugate, 3 plus x now plus the square root of 3. Now, on the last problem, actually, I'm not so sure that's called the conjugate when we have the square root of a variable. But... Uh, I do know for a fact that uh, this is considered to be the conjugate. If uh, This is just a uh, constant here. So let me just clarify that. 
anybody that's going to bust me out on that one and leave a comment in the box. Okay, so I'm going to write the square root of uh, 3 plus x plus the square root of 3. Now what I'm going to do here is multiply uh, the tops. And uh, we end up with the limit as x approaches 0. And now when I do this, I multiply this stuff out. You know, the square root of 3 plus x times the square root of 3 plus x, right, is just going to end up being 3 plus x. And because this is a minus and this is a plus and these are all the same terms here, you know that the inside, when you fold this thing out, all cancels out. And so all you're worried about is multiplying the square root of 3 plus x times square root of 3 plus x and multiplying negative square root of 3 times positive square root of 3, and that just gives me minus 3. I hope you didn't get lost in all that. Okay, and then we have x in the bottom and uh, 3 plus x. Um, do calculus now for about 15 years. I know what most students have problems with, and that is the intermediate algebra. So hopefully you were able to multiply this top stuff out. Now you notice that the uh, the threes cancel out, right? And we have an x in the top left and an x in the bottom, which means that our x's can cancel out as well. But now be careful, that doesn't mean we have zero in the top, okay? We're left with one in the top. Right, that's that intermediate algebra stuff that uh, normally gets most students. And so now we're left with um, 3 plus x plus the square root of 3. And of course now we can go ahead and plug 0 in for x. And so we have the square root of 3 plus square root of 3. And that makes 2 of them. So 2 square root of 3 over 1. And uh, of course uh, a lot of uh, instructors want you to get rid of this square root in the bottom which means that we're going to multiply the bottom by the square root of 3 and the top by the square root of 3. And that's going to uh, end up giving us the square root of 3 over. Now the square root of 3 times square root of 3 is just 3. And so we have 2 times 3 is 6. And uh, that's going to uh, conclude uh, number 19 and this uh, a few problems that we worked here.